turn. Okay, so Mark wants you going up. I'll kind of show you. I'll kind of push you a little bit. I'll get in there. Okay. We've got some cables there. Alright. Can I use that as a guide? Yep. Is that okay? Okay. So there's a headset there in front of you. You can mm -hmm. grab that. Okay. Sam will grab the door. And <laughs> I'm going to get things started. Wow, this is amazing. A couple checks real quick like. Check all my lights, make sure they all light up. We'll get some AC going here in just a moment. Okay. And we are gonna start. So all I gotta do is press the start button here on this this one. Okay. And off we go. I'm gonna introduce fuel at 12%. There's a light off, I can hear it. Yep. I can see it. Yep. That white line. Okay, if you look out across the top of the wing, I'm going to do the uh, lift dump. So there it was. Okay. I don't know if you can see it or yeah, not. I, I did. I missed it, but that's okay. okay. Scandal traffic, Cherokee 2021 Romeo. Turning left crosswind, runway 23. Okay. Hey, Gainesville traffic, Mooney 5201 uniform, 4 mile final, 23. So stall warning check, or stall system check. Seven. Pusher, it's going to push the stick over here next. Next, Celsius. 2.14 Celsius. Altimeter 3014. Over speed. Your configuration. Take off configuration. Okay, I can get, because it's a sort taxi out, I'll get all my uniform, uh, before taxi uh, checks here. Two, three, Gainesville. Generators, bleed air. Performance. Four of us. 
400 pounds of fuel. Autopilot disconnect. Getting everything set up there. Uniform, one mile final, two three Gainesville. Okay, we are going. Okay, you comfy? Oh yeah, definitely. Gainesville, Trotter, Cherokee, 2021, Romeo. Turning left, base, runway 23, Gainesville. If you need a water or anything, you let me know, I can grab them. I appreciate right that. Right here? I'm good right now. So, here's the chart, there's where we are on it. Right. We are just taxiing out to runway 23. Okay. Have you been to this airport before? I have not been here no. before. Stamp said the FBO in there is really nice. It's yeah, really cool. It is pretty cool. Gainesville traffic, Turkey 2021 Romeo. Turning final runway 23, Gainesville. Okay, so got a guy just coming into land now. Old Cherokee. And Gainesville traffic, Mooney's Air One uniform, clear of 2 3. Brakes like to chatter a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, the runway's got a little bit of a slope to it. Is that unusual or is that. Yeah, it's somewhat unusual. I mean, you see it on occasion, but... Yeah. So, 196 miles down to Savannah. 196 nautical miles. Okay, yeah. Okay, just getting out of the way. It's gonna work out well. Gainesville traffic, Premier 390 Zerg off mic, departing runway 23 and exiting to the southeast. Run the throttles up a little bit. And off we go. Oh wow. One, rotate. Flaps coming up. Amazing how quiet it gets. Oh yeah, that you just it just leaves the sound behind it you. It really does. Get my Takeoff check's done real quick here before I call anybody. Atlanta Premier 390 Golf Mike. Uh, Premier 390 Golf Mike, Atlanta Front Squad 1736. 
1736, circle fine. Heading. Premier 300, zero golf, Mike, road to contact, two miles south of the Gainesville Airport, passing 3200. Third to Savannah via direct Athens, direct Collier, direct climb and maintain 7000. Site flight level 100, zero, 10 minutes. Okay, direct to Athens, direct Collier up to uh, 7000 and 190 as a final zero golf, Mike. Zero golf, Mike, read back is correct, and now you can consider it Collier's at this time, maintain 7000. Okay, direct Collier, Collier 7000, zero golf, Mike. Okay, I gotta find Collier. Three zero Juliet, the airport is inside. Booty uh, five six three zero Juliet, uh, Roger clear. Visual approach runway right. two seven. Contact at the tower one two six point three. Colliers. Juliet visual approach two seven. We'll contact tower one six point three three zero Juliet. Okay, that's it, buddy. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty quiet. You know, once once you spool the engines up and let the brakes go. All that sound just kind of stays behind you. Because yeah. it all happens pretty quickly. I'm going to start getting Savannah called up here. Atlanta Bird, Skyhawk 5280, Romeo. Uh, 12375 is our latest. Skyhawk 83, Romeo, Roger. Oh, radar service is terminated. Yeah. Walk and maintain the barn before you go. Traffic 2 o'clock. Four miles southeast bound altitude indicates at three thousand. All right, we'll look out for that. So Seven thousand feet. Oh, good afternoon. Three Romeo, thank you, sir. And uh, uh, pull, pull, the, pull the power back here to make sure we don't overspeed. Oh, okay. It'll very easily overspeed. Of course, we're supposed to stay below two hundred fifty knots. Below ten thousand feet. Yeah, kind of hazy today, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. All right. Premier Zero Golf Mike, climb and maintain 10,000, 10,000. 10,000, Zero Golf Mike. Imagine 107, contact approach 124.2. So I set the altitude selector to 10,000 feet, and you can see that on your screen in front of you there in blue, the 10,000. The upper right hand oh, yeah. corner. Okay. okay. So that's the altitude I have selected. The airplane is going to climb to that altitude. Premier Zero Golf Mike, contact Atlanta Center 134.2. Good day. 342 Zero Golf Mike, good day. Atlanta Premier 39 Zero Golf Mike, 8000, climb at 10,000. 39 Zero Golf Mike, Atlanta Center, climb and maintain flight level 190. Flight level 190, Zero Golf Mike. So off we go. Right. Center down 2442, leaving flight level 190 for 11000 at Davo. Roger. Uh, climbing at 4,000 feet a minute right now. Wow. Out of 11,000, climbing 14,300 on the street. Over Brickyard 4476, checking in. Yes. Brickyard 4476, Atlanta Center, welcome. Climb and maintain flight level 230. Level 230, Brickyard 4476. Is that a speed assigned by approach, or are you just doing that on your own? Uh, they wanted the best forward airspeed out of us, so uh, 300 with the climb is what we can do for you. Roger. Uh, I don't know if you see this cloud deck coming up here. Yeah. So we should shoot right through that. Okay. Probably a little bit clearer above. Oxygen supply. Okay. Okay, 4476, you can resume normal speed. Normal speed, 34. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. You guys tell how fast you're moving when you break through that layer. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Oh, I expect that's like the best view. Yeah. Climbing through 15,000 feet now. Wow. Yeah, we've been airborne six no, minutes. 12, 100, uh, wow. Climb 14,000. Hopefully, get a nice view of the coast. Yeah, that'd be great. Atlantic MJ 33, leaving 20415, 15,000. Atlantic MJ 843, Atlanta Center. Welcome, Aspen Delta Motor 3011. 3011, thanks. Delta 1200, 11,000, climb 14,000. Delta 1200, Atlanta Center, climb and maintain flight level 230, maintain 300, Nostra Greater. Okay, climb to flight level 230, and uh... So we're going to kind of run along the uh, Georgia-South Carolina border. Okay. Down to okay. Uh, Savannah. Okay. That's kind of a different way that you would travel by car to go to Savannah. You gotta go through Atlanta. You go through Atlanta. You go down to Macon and then cut across go over. and go. To, yeah, go that way. Atlanta Center, good morning. Three two nineteen at eleven point six, climbing one four thousand. Three two nineteen, Atlanta Center, climbing. Uh, we're going over, over the ground. Three hundred twenty-nine knots. Nine zero knots. Wow. Climb flight level two three zero. Yeah. We're climbing. Zero. So we'll, yeah. And then we'll we'll accelerate right out here a little bit more. Delta twenty four forty two, contact rear approach one one eight one eight. 18-8, Delta 2442, good day. When you select a new, like a new altitude, does the autopilot take care of the acceleration and the, the... No, so that's a good question. The climb. So when you select a new altitude... Zero Golf Mike, we've got a minute to read when ready to copy. Okay, go ahead, Zero Golf Mike. Zero Golf Mike, there's some new prep routing into Savannah, so you are now cleared to Savannah via direct lot intersection. That's Lima, Oscar, Tango, Tango, Sierra. Then direct Savannah VOR, then direct to the field. Okay, direct lots, Savannah, and then the field. Zero golf mic. Okay, so let me put that in. Record 4476, contact Atlanta Center, 125.62. 2562, catch you later now, we care 4476. Okay, so let's go direct. Lots. Execute. Oh, that helps us. Okay. That's us. Awesome. Time. Number 390, Zero Golf Mike, contact Atlanta Center, 128.1. Good day. 28 one, Zero Golf Mike, good day. Atlanta Center, Roger. Atlanta Premier, 390, Zero Golf Mike, flight level 190. Premier, 390, Zero Golf Mike, Atlanta Center, Roger. So, when you select the new altitude, uh -huh. um, the airplane will do nothing because you haven't told it how you want it to get to the new altitude. Okay. So you need to be, you need to select one of the modes, and the, one of the modes would be vertical yeah, speed, where you dial in a vertical speed. Uh -huh. It would be pitch, where you set a pitch, or it would be flight level change, where you pick an airspeed. Okay. And it will climb, it, climb or descend that airspeed. Okay. Squawk 7117. So right now, we've, we're the altitude selectors at flight level 190. I can run the altitude selector all over the place. Sure. The airplane won't do anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Roger, thank you. So I've got to throttle back a little bit here to keep from exceeding our 320 knots indicated. So we're going 424 knots over the ground. Wow. Yeah. This trip's going to end too soon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 21 minutes, man. Delta 9932, descend via the Gen R2 arrival. Maintain 310 knots and resume all the speed at Wookiee. Altimeter 3013. 145 miles away from Savannah, right? Now. Wow. Okay. Great. I, I never dreamed when we did the merit badge thing about 39 years ago that I would be doing this. I mean, I, and, and at that point, I was hooked. I mean, was, you know, yeah, that's awesome. And, and it's so funny because, you know, so many people, I mean, my vision for, for a long time was like looking through if this windshield had ice on it, like yep. a thin layer of ice. Yep. So I could see colors and things like that, but no real definition of anything. Right. Um, so to get the transplant, and it's not perfect now, I mean, it's, you know, 
it's still I still could never get a driver's license or anything right. like that. But there's so much more capability than I had before, and I just wanted to realize this dream. This is this is incredible. Oh, that's awesome! Man, I'm telling you, this is that's awesome. So when did you lost your eyesight? At what age? I was really I was from birth at that point. Okay. Um, and um, it was not until I was 37 years old that I got a diagnosis of really what was what was going on. And um, I mean I had probably 17 different cornea operations by the time I was 10 years old, and the corneas would always reject. And so nobody ever knew why. And uh, then when I was I was, like I said, I was 37, almost 38 years old, and I decided, I thought, you know, I just want to see what's available, and if there are any new, any new things going on, and so uh, I went to Emory Hospital, it's in Atlanta, uh, and they're a teaching hospital, so they're really kind of cutting edge on some of the stuff that's happening, and they said, within five minutes, they gave me the diagnosis that I'd never gotten in 37 years. Wow. Um, and they said, uh, also, there's probably a way we can improve your vision, you know, so we went for it. And it was a success. It was a success, yes. Um, you know, some people would think, well, you didn't walk out of there with 2020, so it's not a success. But anything greater than what I had before, you know, I can, I do a lot of things up close or, or magnified. Yeah. Um, so, like, with my, um, my iPhone, you know, I never thought I'd be able to do that. I never thought I'd be able to read an iPhone, you know. Um, but I, you know, so I still find ways to adapt to things. Right. So for the, for the viewers who are watching this, Mark to my right, Mark and I so met, uh, through YouTube, I believe. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, uh, Mark is a music producer, loved my videos and wanted to produce some original music for me. He had some ideas, and uh, he did that, and then uh, we had another viewer in collaboration with Mark put together a video, and it's on my uh, channel. It's uh, titled, uh, Why Do I Fly? Let Me Show You, and Mark did the musical score on that, which is just fantastic. It's, it's got to be one of my favorite videos oh, wow. of my stuff. And now we have a new score in the works. Yes. Yeah. We do. I think it's going to be exciting. Yep. Yeah. So Mark has arranged for us to take a tour of the Gulfstream factory where they built the uh, Gulfstream corporate jets. So we are en route now to Savannah for lunch and then a Gulfstream tour. Not a bad way to spend a, a weekday. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm glad. I'm glad we put it together. I am too. The timing actually worked out well for me. Good. So you're you've got a lot going. So. Oh, we've been crazy. Delta 1746 to send me the Jedi to arrival. We're doing public speed at Wookie. Altimeter 3013 for my altimeter is old. yesterday to Rockford to pick up this. Oh, wow. And, uh, I actually sat in the back seat of that thing. Did you really? Was it was it comfortable or was it? It was actually very comfortable. Was it? I've heard a lot about those. Yeah. Um, I think. Number 390 Golf Mike cross lots at a maintain 111,000. Double altimeter 3014. Okay, lots of 11,000, 014, Mike. Okay, so, yeah, the thing about the, uh, Cirrus is that, uh, of course, with me in the back, we might have been a little tail heavy. But, uh, <laughs> overall, it was it was surprisingly comfortable. So I can go and I can enter 11,000 feet on my FMS. Okay. I can put it next to lots and execute it. So that all of a sudden creates this lots point at 11,000 feet. Now I can select VNAV. I can put my altitude selector to 11,000 feet, and the airplane will grab a three-degree glide slope to intercept oh, okay. and cross lots at 11,000 feet. Oh, okay. So 
very, very powerful flight management system. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be really it, that it handles a lot of things and does it very smoothly. Yeah, it's really it's it's it runs a lot of bigger airplanes. So yeah, running the little Premier is not a problem for it. <laughs> and single pilot makes it really nice. Sure, it takes a lot of the workload away. Yeah, it seems like you've got a lot of ease of flying the right, yeah. right now. I just I just make it look easy. Mark. <laughs> No, it's, <laughs> yeah. What do they say about flying? Hours of tranquility punctuated by seconds of sheer terror. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> My dad was telling me a story about him flying once. He did something that wasn't all that great. <laughs> I had a look on my face and he said, yeah. He goes, it was utter stupidity that got me into it, but pure skill that got me out. <laughs> <laughs> what is it they say? There are old pilots and bold pilots, but there are no oh, yeah. old bold pilots. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Have you ever had to hand fly this plane at this altitude? Delta 9932, uh, no, no, no. November 390, Golf Mike, contact Joshua, 132.92. 3292, Zergolf Mike, see ya. Good day. Jacksonville Premier, 390, Zergolf Mike, flight level 100, zero. Zero golf, Mike. Savannah altimeter, three zero one four. Good afternoon. Thirty fourteen. Zero golf, Mike. Good afternoon. Still haven't been. Oh, here's the. Uh, so I'm going to give you. Fox seven five five. Countdown. Thirty four thirty seven. Thirty four thirty seven. Yeah. We'll see you. Fox seven five five. Thirty four thirty seven. 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 Thirty Wind one nine zero at one zero. Visibility to one zero. Number two five five five. Cross your two nine zero point one three. Altimeter three zero one three. Simultaneous visual approaches runway two eight and runway one nine zero. Then a whole short operation in effect. Bird advisory in effect. Notice to airman taxiway Charlie close west of taxiway Charlie two. Advise initial contact after information Romeo. Information Romeo. Prefer to land runway one nine. It just drops us right into where we're going. Okay. I got a rental car set up. We'll run into town, grab some lunch, and then head back for the three o'clock. Cool. Any particular place you want to go for lunch? Uh, there's a couple places I know down there. We can just park, kind of walk around, and see what's up. Okay. Have you been in Savannah? Uh, just recently, as a matter of fact, about six weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did well, this by car and. I said after this, I'll never want to do that again. So. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, well, you you can actually tell us where you'd like to go if you got a got a place you like. We went to a place. Uh, it was kind of down in the. Uh, I think it was the market. Premier Zergolf, Mike. Do you have a clearance to cross lots at 11 or no? I do. Lots at 11. Zergolf, Mike. Thank you. Um, but there was a place called Belfort's that we went. Uh, there are a lot of great places down there, though. Yeah. Down there, right on the river? Uh, yeah. Yeah. T-Bolt 5-1, contact double shot. T-Bolt 5-1, flight switch, double shot. Ten minutes. Oh, wow. Three miles. Incredible. With you passing uh, 8.7 for 10,000. Delta 2041, climb and maintain flight level 220. Uh, that'll be your final and welcome. Delta 2041, climb to 220 for a final.
Uh, one of my Instagram viewers messaged me this morning and said that he used to work for Gulfstream. Oh, and wow. he said we're going to love the tour. Man. So we are burning 770 pounds of fuel aside. So I can come down here to my performance fuel management. And so 50-30 total per side. So that's about 225 gallons an hour that we're oh, well, burning. Is that good? I mean, is that uh, well, pretty jets aren't very fuel efficient yeah, down low, yeah, so yeah. now it's not very good. Mike, Papa, okay, so now we're starting our descent. Those two tones were the top of descent. Yep. One, two, zero, Airplane's seven, grabbing seven, the uh, glide path and start down. We'll get a little arc that's going to come into this picture. There it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. And that indicates where we are going to... Where are we going to get... Where are we going, where we are going to hit our selected altitude. Okay. So that should eventually settle on lots. Okay. Because that's where we want to hit 11,000 feet. All right. That's what it's doing.
Gulf Test eight, eight, you can hit your next please, or you already are Derek, please cross please, now 11000, Savannah altimeter 3013. Let's make a turn now. Please 11000, 3013. And Gulf Test, say that again. I got it all that 11,000 and please, and that was just verified at 3011 for altimeter. Uh, 13, 3013. Roger, thanks, Gulf Test City. Thanks, sir. Delta 1350, 6,000, call me 1,000. Delta 1350, Jake, center climb and maintain, flight level 230. Flight level 230, Delta 1350. November 300, Gulf Mike, contact Savannah Approach, 125.3. 25 freeze, Gulf Mike, good day. Delta 353, turn right, direct Smalls. Right, direct Smalls, Delta 353. Savannah Approach, Premier 390, Gulf Mike, 11,000 with Romeo. Premier 390, Zero Golf Mike, Savannah Approach, Roger, expect a visual approach, runway 28, fly heading 090. Zero zero. Runway 28 and 090 zero on the heading, Zero Golf Mike. Premier Zero Golf Mike, descend to maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, Zero Golf Mike. Okay, so runway 28 actually works out okay because we'll okay. roll out right by the FBO. Okay. Let's give you a few more minutes flying time. Yeah, here we go. So I can enter in a visual approach to runway 28 into the FMS, uh, and it will give me guidance for that approach, so it's very helpful. Airport site, 5 Golf Alpha. 5 Golf Alpha, Roger, cleared visual approach on way 19, contact Savannah Tower, 119.1, good day. Clear visual approach on way 19, Savannah Tower, 191 for official 5 Golf Alpha. Dog one zero flight turn right. It's pretty you know, amazing how quick zero. you get conditioned to hear your call sign on the radio. Oh yeah, you know. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, twin Cessna five Bravo Kilo. The uh, turn left heading at two seven zero. The golf stream you're following is eleven o'clock and four miles at two thousand nine hundred. Bravo Kilo. Okay, go go ahead and get two seven. So uh, it's 25 miles up there, still too hazy to see yeah. the airport. Yeah, to get higher for you. Those are 353. Twin Cessna 5, Bravo Kilo, do you have the airport in sight at 11 o'clock, 11 to 10 o'clock on 10 miles? Bravo Kilo, we have the airport. Twin Cessna 5, Bravo Kilo, Roger. The uh, Gulf Stream shouldn't be any factor. It's uh, four miles ahead of you. Caution wake turbulence. Make straight in runway one knotter. Johnson, wake turbo straight at one nine, Bravo Kilo. Those are 353, contact Jacksonville Center on 132.9 or 2. Good day. 3292, those are 353. Good day. Skyline 3, Kilo Whiskey, turn right heading on 140. Dog 10 flight, turn right on course. Uh, yes, sir, Doug, one zero flight, I'd like to request a direct at Savannah 048 at 27, and then we'll pick up our flight plan from there. Okay, so Doug, one zero flight, uh, proceed as requested. Doug, one zero flight. Skylane 3, Kilo Whiskey, Savannah approach. Skylane 623, Kilo Whiskey, Savannah approach. So the airport is out there, Mark, at about 1 o'clock. Okay. It's going to be kind of difficult right. to see. Yeah, it's a little zero. ways out there. Right. 2 3 kilo whiskey. Sweet 8 1, Savannah Approach, Roger. Savannah Altimeter 3012. Lane 3, Kilo Whiskey, advise we have Savannah Airport in sight, uh, 1 o'clock and 1, 1 miles. 2, 3, Kilo Whiskey, has airport in sight. Skyline 3, Kilo Whiskey, roger, make straight in, runway 1, Niner, contact Savannah Tower, 119.1, one, one, good day. Straight into 1, nine, contact Tower, 1, one, nine, or point one 6, 2, 3, Kilo Whiskey, thanks for your help, good day. Dog 1, zero flight, contact Buford Approach on 123.7. Dog one zero 
Federal Flight, contact Buford Approach, 123.7. Yeah, good front, that was 123.7 for Dog 10 Flight. Dog 10 Flight, affirmative. Buford Approach, 123.7. Alright, Dog 10 Flight, push 23.7, so long. Premier Zero Golf Mike, descend to maintain 2000. 2000, Zero Golf Mike. 345 Bravo Kilo, uh, looks like we're on the uh, straight end of run 19. Sensor so 5 Bravo Kilo, Roger. Uh, contact Savannah Tower, 119.1. 191. What do the two green lights mean? So There's I've got the auto ignition turned on. Okay. So that now we're on the approach phase. If there was ever to be a hiccup in the engine, they would automatically relight. Okay. But they're pretty unlikely. <laughs> Savannah departure. So the airport is straight out, 3 o'clock. Okay, yeah, it's runway 19, we're looking at. Right. Savannah departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 1010,000. Climb it at 10,000. Uh, You're apparently sequencing us with some other traffic. Premier Zero Golf Mike, turn right heading on 140. Right turn 140, Zero Golf Mike. Field runway 28, winds 190 at 4, clear to land. 
Clear to land, runway 28, Sierra Golf Line. And Tower Wisconsin, 3771, hold it short here, 28, ready when you are. From Wisconsin, 3771, Roger, hold short of runway 28, have one more arrival. November 623 Kilo Whiskey State Parking. Still there. Same. November 623 Kilo Whiskey, Roger, right turn next taxiway, and it'll be Alpha 4, contact ground point 9. 1000. Next right, ground point 9, thank you. You're welcome, you have a great day. Gulfstream make a plane that would be single pilot 
certified or were they now they're everything done. everything is to pilot? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was a blast. That was good. Nice flight. It was. How's it going? Well, how about you? Good. Just take your time. You got that overhead strap too. If you want to grab it, you can do that. We got this one. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Thank you. 